What is up you guys? Carolina Shore Fishing here, just like you see on the banner on the vehicle. And today I'm going to bring you guys a special video by request. What is in my tackle bags? And I've been asked this quite a few times, so let's go ahead and get into that right now. Because just like you guys, I'm interested in knowing what's in my tackle bag as well. over what's in my bags here we can uh, go over what I picked up for upcoming trips and what I think is pretty important to have uh, and make sure you've got plenty of all right here's everything laid out from the recent acquisition here look at all the hooks we've picked up you can tell which one I use the most of like which size these are mainly for bait fish and stuff uh, we'll see how they work too for pompano and uh, whiting and drum. Uh, picked up some bigger sizes here as well. So we've got size 2, 1 aught, 3 aught, 5 aught. Got some smaller egg sinkers, egg weights, because I have just huge ones. Got some owner hooks. I really like owner hooks. It's what I usually use. Uh, but these were $1.50 for 15 hooks. And they look pretty heavy duty. Not sure how sharp they are. But I've never really had issues uh, with sharpness of hooks. So. Moving along, we've got here some steel leaders. Those uh, I've had pretty good success using them um, with my gotcha lures. I haven't had fish hitting the things yet, the actual swivels. So we'll see there. We'll figure it out. Uh, a little bit of fluorocarbon here in 17 pound. We're going to use that to tie our own rigs here. Uh, a lot of sinkers. We've got a bunch of five ounces. That's probably the most common that I use. Got an eight, got a six, got a, what is this, a six ounce Sputnik. This is actually pretty heavy. Don't know. Gonna need a pretty rough day because that thing digs in. Um, this two ounce one, two ounce spider, that'll be a little bit better for the surf there. Uh, a lot of these barrel swivels. Can't remember if I went over those already. Got them in 50 pound. Uh, there's 10 in here. I really like this brand because of how small these are. There they are. You can see them in there. Not sure if it's going to focus, but they're tiny. Um, so really good for if you want to tie like a floral leader and use that for your gotchas or something. Got some 370 pound ones for uh, shark fishing and a uh, mirror lure right here. So all good stuff to have. But now I know you guys want to know what's inside here. You guys have gotten some sneak peeks in some of the videos of what I keep inside. But this bag right here is a Sea Knight tackle bag. Show you guys the brand right there. Picked it up off of Amazon. And I picked up the one without trays inside because you'll see here. I like to buy these uh, nicer 3600s or I guess they're five. Yeah, it's 3600 right there. But they're waterproof. Um... And they have these three latches, so I think that's that goes a long way, especially with keeping all of your hooks and stuff from rusting. So this right here, you guys can see, it's pretty much my hooks and weights kit. This one here's got some of the more abstract stuff, jig heads. This one is pretty much lures, and this one looks like lures. Some sinkers, uh, looks like jig hat, uh, bucktails, and cobia jigs. And that's all that's uh, right here, so that's pretty cool. All right, let's dive right into the kits here. So we've got hooks. I try to keep them uh, going from smallest to largest here. And you'll see here's a pile of just random hooks. When I use hooks, I like to put them back in all of them back, like in one uh, uh one location because you'll see here these hooks all rusted these hooks will probably all rust um and so i just don't want to introduce a rusted hook or a hook that will potentially rust to some brand new ones that you know otherwise would be perfect so i uh, just yeah go through from like size four size eight this isn't size eight these are like one odds keep the size eights in little packets which you'll see but yeah, just all tons of hooks here. We've got treble hooks. We've got J hooks. We've got circle hooks. We've got collie hooks. Uh, just a good assortment here because you never know. Moving on, we've got this, uh, the abstract box that I like to call it. Pretty much I've got kind of like fiddler stuff, uh, 
Got these Spanish sabiki jig straws, these sliders, some more of these sliders for sinkers. I really like having these. Uh, I just get the really cheap ones in case I lose them or lose a whole rig. But this is just so you can slide your uh, sinker all the way down for a fish finder rig. Some uh, kingfish rig stuff right here. And these DOAs, pretty good stuff there. Moving along, we've got just some gotchas and the cobia jig heads like I was saying. A few more sinker types there. And in the last kit, lures like I was explaining earlier. Opening up the front pocket here, we'll find that I keep my braid scissors, some cotton swabs. We've got really the tiny hooks that I was talking about. We've got the size eights. I keep some of these steel, uh, stainless steel barrel swivels, the tiny ones. This one's actually 80 pound test, so these are uh, just as small and seem better, I guess, than these Spros, but I've used these before. Uh, looks like I've got just some thread in case I need a thread like barnacle. We've got real oil, real grease, uh, batteries for aerator, a little tape measure. A D hooker down here. This is actually pretty neat. It works just like it should. Electrical tape right there and another tape measure. And you'll notice the bag has all these cool pockets on the outside for pocket knife. Got your uh, actual like bait knife right here. Pliers right there on the other side. Got plenty more pockets. When we go into these top pockets, the, on both sides I've just got these glow sticks. Sometimes I'll rig up like these glow rigs for ribbon fish. So we'll do a video on that pretty soon. Down here, got some fish bites, just plastics that I like to keep. Uh, we've got like this XPS saltwater crab, some of this my brother was using to catch blues off of the pier down south lures. Uh, pretty cool stuff there. And some more. And then a, more of a trout color right here. Uh, we've got some gulp, these big gulps. We've got these little gulps, which should actually go into there with that one. And so should this one. And please, for the love of God, gulp, come out with a better container. And on the other side, I've just got a bunch of Ziploc bags for when I clean fish on the pier. And this side is empty. Uh, usually throw my phone and wallet and stuff in here. Uh, and then we'll probably eventually have more plastics in there. Lastly is the top storage component here. I'll go ahead and get that open. And it's a mess up here as well. We've got some fish grippers in case we've got a toothy fish we want to take a picture with. A lot of these floaty corks. Um, we've got some just double rigs and stuff in there. A glove. Like I said, a lot of those cork popping corks. Some more fluorocarbon and 40 pound. Extra pair of sunglasses here, throwaways. Uh, paracord. We've got 30 and 40 pound cast king braid right there some wipes we've got some wire leader the wipes are probably the best thing in here uh, we've got this shark rig that's starting to rust and starting in North Carolina you're gonna need a circle hook like that if you are shark fishing so keep up with those laws some sabiki rigs in here we've got real magic and this uh, fishing rod fishing reel spooler all that fits in there surprisingly right so, pretty cool that I'm able to get all this stuff out there with me. Way more than I need, but I'd always rather be over-prepared than regretting that I didn't have what I needed out there. Alright, hope you guys can relate, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want the counterpart to this. I do have a freshwater bag there, and that's all set up as well. I did say we would go over what was in here, so this is just a dry bag. I keep pretty much anything that I need to keep safe, so cameras go in there. I keep an extra pair of clothes in there, uh, and that's pretty much it. Nothing really special goes into there. Maybe my sunglasses, just things I want to keep protected.